Welcome back everyone. I'm technically not a technician and today's video is a follow-up or supplement to my last. In this video, I'll show you a few tricks I've learned playing around and fine-tuning my modified arcade one-up Simpsons cab. This video is for educational purposes only and is only intended to show you what I've done and what my results are. If you choose to modify your systems using this or any other information I've provided from any videos or content I've created, you do so at your own risk. I, this channel, or any person connected to this video will not be held liable for any choices you make with your hardware or software. Modify at your own risk. With all of the legal requirements out of the way, let's talk a little about what we've done. For those of you returning to the channel, you'll know I've been working on a number of hard and soft modifications to my arcade cab, doing my best to bring as many playable games to the table as I can find, and at the same time, making great effort into not making the cab look as if it's been modified heavily. So far, everything with my modifications seems to be in working order, but I'd be lying if I said it all went according to plan. In my last video, you see me testing out the current main core and the list of trackball games I was able to find and add to my cab. I did get a ton of games working, but I have to admit I was disappointed at the gameplay on most of the Golden Tee games. They all booted but only the oldest were playable with that hardware and emulator configuration. Shortly after I made that discovery, I decided to try the Final Burn Neo Core. For those of you unfamiliar with Final Burn Neo, it's similar to May. However, it doesn't concentrate on accuracy. This emulator goes for playability. When on the search and tracking down Final Burn Neo ROM sets, I kept it simple and only used the keywords Final Burn Neo ROM set and archive in my Google search. When doing so, I was able to find a non-merged set. Non-merged sets are larger. However, they do give you a one ROM to one game ROM set. And this will be helpful later when I go to remove games that will not work with the controls on my cab. After locating the correct Final Burn Neo ROM set, I downloaded the needed ROMs using an automated download manager and a Chrome browser extension. This download method works well, and it saved me a ton of time. If you'd like to learn more, be sure to look for the link above and in the description. Even with this automated method, it still takes a lot of time. And not to point out the obvious, but the faster your connection, the faster this will go. I believe this took over eight hours. I just set it and went to bed. For now, we'll just move on to managing what ROMs we want for this cap based on the four player, two button joystick controls coupled with the trackball that comes on our cap. I also have a nice life hack when it comes to culling down your ROM set to fit your cab's controls. In short, I use the arcade database to build me a list of games that match my ROM set and that also match the controls on my cab. And I then use that list to build a batch file to simply automate copying over the non-merged games that I just downloaded so that I only have games left that match the controls of the cab I'm currently working on. If you'd like to learn more about this time-saving hack, I do have a video on the subject and I'll link to it above and in the video description. With those basics out of the way, let's move our ROMs to our cab, and let's talk about what we've learned about Final Burn Neo and what you'll need to know to get your games working. First, we'll need to select and launch a trackball game. Once the game is launched and running, we must go back into the retro arc menu and navigate to the controller section. Once you're in the controller section, find and select the player one controls and change the very first setting from retro pad to mouse ball only. Doing so will tell retro arc that it needs to use the track ball and not the joysticks. You'll want to do this with both the first and second player controls. The third and fourth players do not have that option. We'll need to save these settings, and to do so, we back out of the individual player settings and select the manage remap files, and we enter that section. We'll find an area labeled as save game remap file, and we'll need to save these new controls for this game using that option. Now, every time we load this game, it will know we wish to use the trackball. If you place all of your final Burn Neo trackball games into one directory and do not mix them with joystick games, you can save the remap file for the full directory. However, I did not do that, and I must save a remap file for each game. 
You can, of course, choose how you wish to build your mod. Most of your track ball games can be configured in this way, and everything I ran worked much better under the final Burn Neo core than the MAME core. MAME did seem to have a larger list of compatible games, but because Final Burn Neo concentrates on playability, the games that are compatible with this core just play better on the Simpsons hardware versus using the MAME core. Some games, like Rambo, may have a trick to getting the trackball to work. If you recall, in my last video on trackball in the MAME core, I showed you how to access the cab's dip switches. This will also need to be done in the Final Burn Neo core. However, because of the heavy integration between Final Burn Neo and RetroArch, we'll be able to find these settings in the RetroArch menu. We'll not only need to change the Retro Pad setting like the other games we've done in Final Burn Neo, but we'll also need to change the dip switch settings for this one and games like it. Also, be sure to turn on the light gun to track ball hack for the best possible performance. In my opinion, Final Burn Neo really hits the nail on the head. After giving these games a try on main for the first time, I found that the majority of them were not as playable as I had hoped they would be. Not a single thing about Final Burn Neo was disappointing. Although the Final Burn Core may not have as extensive a list of games that are compatible with it as the main core does, it does a much better job of running those games on the hardware that we have available on this Simpson Arcade 1-Up cap. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to view this video. I truly hope you found it enjoyable and informative. If you did, please remember to help me beat the YouTube algorithm by liking this video and leaving me a comment. I do my best to respond to them all, and it really helps the channel beat that algorithm. Also, if you've not done so, please consider subscribing and sharing this video with a friend or on social media. All of these are easy clicks of the mouse for you, but to me and this channel, those small clicks mean the world and help us grow. Thank you.